Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Today I created this full glam makeup look. You can flaunt this look on any parties or date night or even Valentine's Day or anywhere where you are really comfortable wearing this look. And let's get started. I'm starting off by applying some moisturizer. I'm using the Pond's Lightweight Moisturizer. Moisturizing skin helps create that soft smooth base for our makeup. Next, I'm applying this Baby Lips Lip Balm from Maybelline to prep my lips. Next, I'm applying the primer as the base. This is the L'Oreal Base Magic Primer. This primer works magical. It just blurs out all the pores instantly and I highly recommend this primer. Once I have applied the primer, I'm slightly massaging it into my skin. I'm starting off from my brows. I'm using the Forever 52 Master Brow Kit. I'm using this brow pencil which is part of the kit. This brow pencil is really really creamy and pigmented. This product comes with a spoolie on one end and the product on the other end. So it's really easy to brush your brows and then go ahead and apply the product. I'm just filling the sparse areas of my brows. I'm not making my eyebrow too prominent. I'll keep it natural. After filling my brows, I'm using the Forever 52 Concealer Pan. This is a four shade concealer. I'm picking the shade that is one shade lighter to my skin tone to clean the edges of my brows. Next, I'm using this lighter shade from the concealer pan as my eye base. This is the base that I'm creating for my eye makeup. I'm using the Rimmel Match Perfection Loose Powder to set the concealer on my eyelid. For eye makeup today, I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette. I'm picking this brown shade from the palette and using that as my transition shade. Next, I'm using the Maybelline Concealer to clean up the lid area. Next, I'm picking this gold shade from the palette and I'm placing this gold shade over the concealer using my finger. Once I've applied this gold shade, I'm using the pressed glitters from Pack Cosmetics. I will be placing this glitter over the golden shade that I applied earlier using my finger. The best part about pressed glitters are that you can directly use them over your eyelid without having to use any glue. Next I'm using the NYX Epic Ink Liner. So this is a trick. I always make a small marking on both the sides to make sure they are even and then I go ahead and draw the liner. Next I'm applying some false lashes to complete the eye look. False lashes are something that gives that extra drama to your eye makeup. I got these lashes from Amazon and they come in a pack of 5 and they are really affordable. I thought the quality would be really poor but for the money that I've paid I think this is really good. If you guys want to buy this I will leave the link in the description box below. Next I'm picking this darker shade concealer from the pan and I'm going to use this to correct my dark spots and pigmentation. In this video you can see me using daily forever 52 brand products more because I really wanted to test them and give my reviews on them because these this brand products are really affordable. For foundation I'm again using the daily forever 52 foundation. I thought this shade would be really light for my skin tone but then it did oxidize a little and the shade matched my skin tone. To set the foundation in place I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. I'm in the shade NC40. Next I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Kajal in my waterline and I'm also going to tight line using the same Kajal. Next 
next i'm picking the same brown shade from the palette and i'm using it under my lower lash line i'm slightly smudging the brown shade and then i'll be using the black shade from the same palette to smudge the kajal a little Next I'm going to contour my face using my favorite hula bronzer from Benefits. I'm using to contour my cheekbone, my jawline and my forehead and also my nose. For blush I'm using the Pack Studio blusher. For highlighter I'm using the Daily Forever 52 highlighter palette. This palette is great for makeup artists as they have variety of highlighter shades. Moving on to my lips, I'm using the Pack lip liner pencil here in the shade Love. I'm going to line my lips and then I'll be using a liquid lipstick. This is the liquid lipstick from Sugar Cosmetics. I'm going to apply it all over my lips. Since I found this liquid lipstick to be pretty lighter, I went ahead with another lip liquid lipstick from Milani. This is the shade Devotion and that is it guys. I hope you all like this makeup look. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like, share and subscribe button and let let me know what you want to see more and I love creating them for you. I'll see you guys with a brand new one. Bye bye.